Okay, welcome to the third video of this exercise. What we're going to do on this section is to put cracks into the man's face and we need to open a file to do that. So we go to File Open and we need to open the file called Cracks Texture. There we go. And what we want to do with this, we want to remove uh, the black. So first of all we're going to change this to black and white. So we go to image, adjustments, black and white. And we just click OK on that. So we've removed the colour. And then next I just want to emphasise the black area. So we're going to go to the levels. So we go to image, adjustments levels and what we need to do is the the little arrow on the left hand side of this little mountain here these are the dark areas if we drag those to the right we'll make them a little bit darker I don't want to go too far I just want to darken them slightly so we're on 27 there if you look at the number underneath and what I'm going to do with a middle slider is slide this up so I'm making that area much brighter. I'm going to probably go to about 164 and the whites I want to bring up. I probably now can go a little bit more with this slider on the left hand side. So that's pushing the other one along. That's roughly what I want to do. So we've got 108, 1.64 and 129. But basically you don't need to use those numbers. You can just actually look at the picture uh, and, use, and use that method. So I'll click on OK. So we want to emphasize the black lines. That's the important part. And then we go to the magic wand tool. So you can see the magic wand tools there in the toolbox. And we need to click on a dark area, the blacks. So it makes a selection like that. Okay, next thing, if we just look at the layers, what we want to do now is to create a new layer with that selection. So to do that we go to layer, new and we go to layer via copy. And if I just hide the back the background image now you can see that's what we've got. Okay so that's just nice. We now go to the move tool we hold down and we drag onto the title of our file and let go over the picture and there's our extraction which is quite fairly nice. Now there may be a few little white areas on there. I'm not sure if there is actually, it's not too bad at all. But there are just a few little areas and what we're actually going to do is to go to see I've rotated this by the way I've used the move tool and just rotated it on the face it's just getting that in a nice position something like that that will do and then press the enter key and just to get rid of these little white bits as I was saying if we go to layer matting right at the very bottom there and we click remove white mat you can see now that's that's got rid of nearly all of it I think it's all gone if it hadn't and you've still got some little white bits on there you could do that twice I'll just do it again just to make sure layer matting remove white there we go okay so that's fairly nice there I like that there Again, it's just by eye. You can position it wherever you want, but it just looks uh, as if it fits this. I'm going to be deleting some areas next. 
Now, rather than just delete them willy-nilly, we're going to create a mask. So we're on the top layer, the Add Layer Mask button, which comes up white. And remember, if we paint in black, we'll remove areas painting white, it'll bring it. So if, if I actually use the eraser and I delete parts there and think, oh, I wish I hadn't deleted that part, it looked okay. You lost basically, you've got to undo it all to get back to that. But if we use a mask and we paint in, in black, we're deleting. And if we deleted a part we want to bring back, if we paint in white, we can bring it back. So first of all, we change the color to black the foreground colour, we select the paintbrush and we need a, we're going to use a hard brush, hard edged brush for this, it's a hard mechanical brush, any hard brush basically, remember you, you can use the bracket keys to, to make it quite large and I'm going to use it quite large because I want to get rid of these areas that are outside and over the years. So basically we're just going around removing all those areas first, so I'll just hide this. Obviously there may be areas on there that you can't see, so you may make sure that you get rid of all those. So basically we've got something we want to remove it over the hair. Don't worry if you delete other little bits as well, it's not critical this, as long as we've got some cracks on the face there, that's the main thing. And I'm going to get a smaller brush now, so I'm going to reduce the size of the brush. I'm just going to go all over the eyes and any other areas that I don't like. Over the lips there, I'm just going to get rid of this bit. It's looking okay. This part up there where we're going into the air. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Now, what we're going to do with that now is to, first of all, look at the layer. And the layer mask we can now apply. So put your mouse over the layer mask, right click, and click on apply mask make sure that you're happy with what you've done because you can't undo that you can use the eraser to erase parts now but you can't use that mask it's gone so we can't bring areas back and I can see a bit that I've missed on there so I am going to use the eraser so I'm going to click on the eraser and just delete any bits that uh, oh, I'll get rid of all that there That's better. Okay, so we can neaten up with the eraser tool. Now, uh, the next stage, we need to open another another image in a moment. We're going to put a, a lava effect behind that. But first of all, we just want to put an effect on this layer. So, making sure we're on the layer, go to the effects button, the layer styles button, where it says add layer style. We click on there and we want bevel and emboss. Let's just move this over so we can see what that's doing. So it's creating this effect. Now, I'm just going to restore this to the defaults because probably you've got this when you first open this one. The bevel, we want an inner bevel. Smooth, I'm going to change that actually. I'm going to go to chisel hard to give a harder effect. I want the direction to be down. And the depth we can bring up fairly high. So I'm going to bring that up to about 780, something like that. Yeah. You're just doing this by the eye, really, so you haven't got to worry too much about that. I want the reflection, the light area to be on this side. You see the light of the side of the face there is on that side. So by clicking on the angle there, you can change the angle so that it's coming from this side. So the light is coming from the right hand side and it's highlighted on that area. 
The highlight mode should be on screen. We don't need to change any of that. Uh, the opacities on both of those are OK. So we just need to click on OK now. OK. Now we can always delete little areas on this if we need to after, but that's looking OK now. And the next stage is to bring in the other picture. So I'll go to File, Open, and we want the molten lava this time, the hot molten lava. We open that file. Okay, we just need to copy all of this now. So if we go to select all and then click on edit, copy, if we close it now, we can also close and just go to the cracks here. We don't need that anymore. Don't save because we don't want to overwrite the original file. Okay, so back to here now, and we just got to make sure. I'm going to click on the the face of the man there, because we want we want to bring this in behind this top layer. So when I go to the middle layer there, and I click on Edit Paste, the lava comes in between the face and the actual cracks that we've produced there. Again, I click on the Move tool. We're going to move this over the face. And just resize it so it covers covers the face. And I want to position it in an area where, if you look, there's quite a bit of yellow in this area up there. So, and I want that to be sort of over a lot of these cracks that we've got above there. So try and position it so you've got some of it going over this position, and probably more so on the left hand side of the cracks. Okay, that's looking okay. Let's bring it up slightly, I think. I might actually flip this round, so I'm going to drag that over to there. Drag this that way. So it's now around the other way, and I can get some of these yellow areas over the cracks there on this side of the image, which is where I really want them. Uh, that's looking okay. So I'm just going to press the enter key on the keyboard now. And then I'm going back to the top layer. So I'll click back on the top layer. And we need to make a selection of black areas again. So we click on the magic uh, wand tool. I'm going to put the mouse on a black area and click. You can see that highlights that area. Now it has missed a few areas there. So I'm making sure that I've got the plus. If you look, you've got new selection. The second one there, if you put your mouse over, that's add to selection. And that's what we want, just to get this area at the bottom there, or any other bits that are missing. And I think that's about all of it now. OK. Now we go back to the lava image. So we're on that layer now with the lava on, and we click the mask tool. So if we go down, click the layer mask, add layer mask, and we get that. So basically what we've done is we've copied that particular area that we selected, and got rid of all the rest. So you can see the mask on there, the black areas have actually deleted that area. And we can apply this mask as well now, just like we did before with the other layer. So we right click, and click on the Apply Layer Mask. And now what I'm going to do is to click on the Move tool, and I'm going to let go of the mouse. I'm going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard. And I just want to move this slightly to the right. So I'm going to tap the right arrow key, then down one, just so we get something like that. So we just it's just moving that so we can see a little bit more of that flame area, the lava. And also I might change the layer mode. So when it says normal there, let's just have a look what it looks like on uh, screen. Hmm, not sure. No, I prefer the other one. So we'll go back to normal. That's better. Okay, so that part's done.
So we're nearly ready to go on to the, the next video now. So that completes that part of the exercise. Remember to save this now. So I'll go to File, Save, and it will overwrite our PSD file.